Hey guys, so I'm back with another haul video and this one is a collective haul from my Black Friday and Cyber Monday shopping. Um, now I know it seems a little bit late to be putting this up since we're already over halfway through January, but like I mentioned before, I live overseas with a P.O. box so things take a lot longer to get to me than if I were just living in the States. So with that being said, let's just jump right into this. The first place that I picked up from was Urban Decay and between Black Friday and Cyber Monday they had flash sales so they had um, specific sets or items on sale each day of that weekend, of that four day weekend. So I picked up two things from that flash sale. The first is the Badass Lip Set and this is a six piece set of some of their best selling shades of Revolution Lipstick. As opposed to most sets that you would buy, um, this actually was six full size lipsticks. So I thought this was a great chance to add more of their colors to my collection. But the five, six colors are Native, a Pale Pink, Naked, a Nude Pink, Turn On, a Rosy Pink, Anarchy, a Bright Fuchsia, Cat Fight, a Pink Fuchsia with Red Undertone, and F-Bomb, a Classic Red. The second thing I picked up from Urban Decay is their Electric Palette. Now it comes with two previously seen shades and eight brand new and is a really good balance of matte to shimmer shades. The ten shades are Revolt, a metallic silver shimmer with silver glitter, Gonzo, a turquoise matte with floating tonal pearl, Slow Burn, a red orange with floating pearl, Savage, a hot pink matte, Fringe, a metallic teal, Chaos, a blue matte with floating tonal pearl, Jilted, a metallic fuchsia with blue shift, Urban, a metallic purple, Freak, green with gold shift, and Flash, lime green matte with floating gold pearl. I wanted to expand on my colors in my eyeshadows because I have a lot of neutrals and deeper colors that are kind of more fall oriented. Um, so I thought this would be a really great way to play with more spring and summer looks. But, yeah. The next place that I picked up from is a indie brand called Lunatic Cosmetics. And they just have a really cool concept for their makeup and their packaging and everything that I couldn't turn down. Now for their sale they had something like 30% off so I decided to pick up two things from them, a eyeshadow palette and a contour palette. The palette I picked up is called Hex yeah, and for some reason it's no longer listed on the site so I'm not sure if it's just sold out or if it was a limited edition but it comes with five colors, Marked, Roz, Duck Duck, Wendigo and Skull Dusted. And the reason I chose this palette was because the last two colors, Wendigo and St Skull Dusted, were only available in that palette. So that may allude to why it's not available anymore. You can make custom palettes on their site, and at first I was looking at doing that, but those two colors were the only colors that you couldn't add, that weren't available. So in the end, I decided to go with the Hex yeah palette simply because I wanted those two colors. The second thing I picked up is their Cool Contour palette, which has five shades of cool neutrals. And the shades are still relatively brown to beige, but they're just not as heavily warmed up as most contour palettes are going to be. So even the darkest shade has a slight hint of red when you look at it in the light, but it's not so intense that it's going to be totally obvious on your skin. 
Um, something to note about these shadows is they're made with silica, silico powder, which makes them some of the softest shadows I've ever used. And they come with these little pressers, these little circular pressers that you get for each color in the palette. And if you happen to chip or crack in some way the shadow, you can just take, take this presser and press it down and it reforms it in the palette. Um, that's not to say you should drop your palette and then try to fix it because it's probably not going to work, but I thought it was a pretty, pretty clever thing to include, especially with just how soft these shadows are. They feel almost like baby powder. They're that fine. Um, but they're still incredibly pigmented, so I haven't had a chance to really jump into these and get to use them, so when I do, I'm probably going to do like a full review on them. But the next place that I picked up from is Shiro Cosmetics, which is a, another indie company, and they sell pigments. What's really cool about the whole concept of their website is that all of their sets and pigments and names and everything are oriented around nerd culture. So anime, video games, comic books, cartoons, um, kind of like Geek Sheet Cosmetics is. Um, same, same concept. concept. Anyway, they had a set that was based off of the anime and manga Death Note. And unfortunately, it's not available anymore because at the time I bought it on sale. Um, but I picked up Seven Shades, Perfect World, Second Kira, Task Force, Shinigami, Heaven Nor Hell, Mistrust, and More Sugar. This set was on sale because it was being discontinued, so sorry. Um, I also picked up two lip glosses from their like Halloween Night Before Christmas themed, and that was Something in the Wind, and this is Halloween. She also sent me three samples with my order, um, Triforce, Master Sword, and That Man is Playing Galago. Um, I also picked up stuff from The Balm. I didn't pick up much, but they had a really great 50% off everything sale. So I picked up two things. The Mary Luminizer, which my friend Kim was constantly badgering me to get, and considering I'm still on my little highlighter kick, I figured this was a perfect time to pick it up. And Mary Luminizer is a champagne hued highlight, shadow, and shimmer. Um, the pigmentation on this, just from trying it out, was really intense. I would say it's kind of on par with Becca. It wasn't so glittery. Becca is definitely more like glittery and bright as far as a highlighter goes and Mary Luminizer is slightly more muted. It's a little more based in the champagne color than it is the shine. The second thing I picked up was one of their In Stains and I picked that up in Pinstripe which is a medium dark with a hint of fuchsia and red. One of the reasons these blushes are called In Stain is because they are incredibly pigmented, um, but they're still blendable and they kind of blend into a, a little bit of a satin finish. But I previously mentioned in my last haul video that I'm really into kind of purpley plummy blushes and uh, I didn't really intend to get this at first, but when I saw it on the website, I had to. So those are the two things I picked up from the balm. I also picked up more items from Geek Chic. They had a couple of new items that they released at the time. I picked up two more joystick lipsticks, and I'm wearing one of them right now, which is Nightlock, and that's based on the their Hunger Games collection. Obviously, it's a deep purple with a satin finish. It's very buildable, and it doesn't transfer too badly. I've been wearing this all day, um, eating, drinking, only really had to apply one coat once to kind of bring a little bit of the color back, but other than that, I love it. I love it. I can't help it. I love it. 
And the second color I picked up is the Last Centra, which if you can't tell from the outside is based on Aerith from Final Fantasy VII. And this is a satin purple toned pink with a semi-opaque coverage. Um, and this is also just as buildable as Nightlock. Like, and as always, they both have the buttercream flavor. They also released three new lip glosses um, that I wanted to try out. Moon Princess Guardian, a vibrant royal purple with golden sheen. Guardian of Venus, a golden gloss with metallic sheen and loaded with gold shimmer and banished. An inky, almost opaque, deep indigo laced with violet sparkle. I'm not much of a lip gloss fan, but they were named after Sailor Moon, so I had to get them. Like, had to. Who wouldn't? Another indie company that I discovered while browsing Etsy is Makeup Monsters, and they have a collection of really bright lipsticks and pigments, so I thought I would try out some of their lipsticks, and I picked up four. Uh, Atomic number 27, a matte cerulean blue, Plum Fairy, a deep plum with slight red tones, Chaos, a bright royal purple, and Gunmetal, a smoky gray. I also picked up a number of pigments or um, samples of pigments because they were only like a dollar a piece for the little clamshells. So I thought in addition to the lipsticks, I would give their eyeshadows a try. I also picked up a couple of things from Ulta. Uh, the first being the Lorac Champagne Dreams palette. And this comes with seven nude inspired hues six shimmer and one demi satin and they are a burnished bronze shimmer a light milk chocolate demi shimmer an iridescent gold with rose gold flash a copper shimmer a pale iridescent pink a cool beige shimmer and a soft cream semi satin and i thought this was a great little palette um, that fell in between a everyday nude, but also could be dressed up if you're looking for a night out, colors to use on a night out. So I'm excited to play with that. The next thing I picked up is the Smashbox on the Rocks Be Legendary Lipstick Trio. And that comes with Legendary, a true classic red, Fig, a red grape hue, and Primrose, a mauve pink. Um, these lipsticks are supposed to be infused with shea butter, vitamin C, and vitamin E. So they're supposed to be incredibly moisturizing, as well as very pigmented and opaque. Um, I'm not usually a fan of Smashbox. I haven't really found anything from them that is a hit with me. But I've never tried their lipsticks, so I thought this would be a really good chance to give it a shot. The last place that I picked up makeup from is from the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics and those are the liquid lipsticks that he released on Black Friday. I'm Royalty, a royal purple, Prom Night, a bright pink, and Red Rum, a cool toned red. Now I am super excited to try these, not just because the colors are completely out of this world, but because after swatching them on my arm, the formula is amazing. So I'm probably going to end up doing a full review on them after I get a chance to wear all of them um, throughout the day, eat and drink and do my thing. So yeah. The absolute last place that I picked up stuff from was Sedona Lace, and um, I picked up two brush sets again at the behest of Kim because she introduced me to this company and they had a really great Black Friday deal. It was 50% off everything, so I had to. Anyway, um, I picked up, like I mentioned, I picked up two sets. The seven set, which is a synthetic brush set, and their full 10-piece Vortex set, which is natural hairs. So I've actually 
been using the Vortex set and I'm just in love. I should have bought two because now I want another one. But yeah, anyway. So that is it for this haul. Um, I most likely won't be doing another haul for a while because I bought plenty of stuff over the course of the holiday <laughs> that um, I think I have enough toys to play with. But who knows, that may change. There's new makeup coming out every day. Anyway, if you have any questions about the items you've seen in this, then please leave a comment below and I will answer it to the best of my ability. Um, but if you like this video, then thumbs up. If you liked me, then subscribe. And until next time, bye.